Okay, welcome back guys. Before this, I already show you how to unlock the 60 FPS Fortnite on the Redmi Note 9S. And now I do a tutorial how to how do I unlock the 60 FPS Fortnite on Poco X3 and FC and all the things that you are needed USB thumb drive or your internal SD card this is the OTT adapter the sample micro and uh, type C and you need a pen you need a tweezer what the hell you need you need a card reader you need some more pen and some more pen what else you need and you need a cut USB type B type B or A type B cut wired and another 3.5 jack adapter you need a screw and lastly you need a iya untuk mengukir sedap well you don't need all of this thing I make it simpler for you this is how to install the ROM first the ROM no need to edit install the ROM and you are good to go everything unlocked and this rom i already modified the default uh, display frequency are at 90 hertz it's not 60 hertz so long okay the ROM are based on Xiaomi EU ROM and the Xiaomi EU ROM are based on the China stable ROM still Poco X3 normally I change the device name to MI9 this is the ROM I wonder how this two compare running Fortnite X60 FPS which one better 720G or 732 well that video will be next but now I'm going to show you how to install the EU ROM and how to troubleshoot if you got error in the TWRP how to install the TWRP? Well, it's up to you. At, at the moment, you must know how to install it. I will not cover it anymore. Now, you have to put to recovery, custom recovery. This is a TWRP recovery, LRTWRP. link for the ROM, the original ROM, the custom ROM in the description below. Well, this is not a LR team recovery, this is a TWP recovery. It's unofficial. This is the name of the developer. Link for the TWP, I will give it in the description also. First thing to install the ROM, you must wipe 
Talbik data cache Talbik data cache and swipe After that wipe format data and yes And after that, install the ROM. Let's say you get uh, an error 7 over here. You see the red text. Boot back to bootloader. Like this. Reboot to bootloader. And flash the super image. Via ADB Android debug bridge. If you got error in the TWRP, so I'm putting back to TWRP. This is a long video. I don't want you to break your phone. Be patient. Do it correctly. Let's say if you got the error when you wipe the data now it's okay or you do the advanced swipe Dalvik data cache and then when you install the, this ROM you got an error, error 7 then what you need to do reboot to boot loader Okay, connect to your PC. This is how I recover back the dynamic partition. Because inside the dynamic partition, there is a system partition, a vendor partition, a custom partition, a product partition. There is seven partition inside the dynamic partition. Inside one single image, super image. Now I show you how to flash the super image in case you got error installing the custom ROM. Okay, hold on. Open your ADB. This is the ADB for my. There is a Surya recovery, a TRP. This is the super image. This super image get it from the fast boot ROM. The fast boot ROM are uh, something like this. Link for the ROM I will give to you also. You can see over here. This is the Surya global image. The fast boot ROM. Inside the fast boot ROM. you get the super image this one this image copy it to your adb folder copy it here okay once you already copy the super image to your adb folder hold the shift button on your keyboard shift on your mouse right click I hope you can see right here no one more hold shift right click open powershell this is window 10 okay now we are in the command prompt Come on, camera. What happened to you? Don't want to focus. Oh, what happened to my camera? I'm sorry about that. Come on, focus.
okay in the command prompt you type fast put small letter space flash space super all small letter space again super dot i m g we're going to place the super image hey Okay, and then press enter. It will take time to flash. Maybe around three minutes. There's the the first the first image inside the super image. This is the dynamic partition. How you recover back your dynamic partition? In case you got error, if you don't have error, just straight away flash the ROM. There is seven image. Maybe the first one the custom image, or this one the vendor image, and then another one the product image, system image. A lot of emissions are there. If you look at the architecture of the this one, the custom and user, maybe your user data are in a separate separate partition. You see, no more vendor. All the vendor image inside the super image. All Xiaomi new phone that are released with the Android 10 out of the box. This is the procedure how to recover back your dynamic partition in case you got error like let's say the system partition has been destroyed also this is the same way you recover back the partition one two three four five six seven okay complete now we put back to to the recovery hold the volume up and press power button until it reboot don't release the volume up volume plus now release the power button you are going into the recovery you can skip the video if you know how but if you break your phone that's your problem, not my problem. Okay, now we are going to place the ROM. Same as before. Wipe. Advanced wipe. Talbic. Data. And cache. Talbic, data, and cache. Swipe. And then, wipe. Format data. Y, E, S. Yes. Okay, back, home button, this is the home button, and install, select storage, my ROM are inside my thumb drive, if you copy it to your SD card, you choose SD card, mine is from the USB OTG, so I choose USB OTG, okay, and then, migrop.com, this is the ROM, MI UI version 12. Okay, and 
flash. That's it. After it reboot, and then I'll show you how to download the uh, Fortnite. And that's it. Just remember, this ROM is the default default uh, display. <coughs> you can see a uh, 90 hertz. Normally, it uh, set at 60 hertz. I purposely make it to 90 hertz default setting. You can change the setting in in the display setting. Display refresh rate. The refresh rate you can set to sixty or ninety. The setting inside the X3 also got sixty and one twenty, but at default the setting are set to ninety. I already set it to ninety. I want to try to unlock the 90 fps but the chip the soc maybe cannot run it 90 fps for the sd865 90 fps no problem 120 also no problem but for the cpu 732 no way. And one more thing, this ROM doesn't need root. And also, don't try to edit the dynamic partition. Okay? Finish and reboot the system. While it rebooting, I show you how I edit the prop in the system over here. This is the sample. I hope you can see this is the system build prop this is the vendor build prop also vendor build prop from here I change the product system to MI9 product model to MI9 and the vendor build prop also over here I set it to default 90 It's rebooting now. It may take time, maybe five minutes. And also, a lot of things I edit in the build props. Come on, focus camera. Sorry about that. Here, the vendor also here and also here DTFS where is it DTFS Yes, default at 90. This one. At default, Xiaomi set it at true, true. So I set it to false. So the 
new default refresh rate are at 90 hz okay let's wait for the port to boot it's booting now to my Wi-Fi 5G Wi-Fi okay, hold on <coughs> let me activate my device first To install the custom ROM, your bootloader must be unlocked. And the waiting time for the unlocking bootloader from the day one you apply for the unlocking uh, 21 days, 3 weeks. Why so long? Don't ask me. This ROM is for the global version POCO X3 and FC I'm not sure whether it put on the Indian version I think it's the same Almost there Come on, Google. Google Assistant still didn't recognize my voice. Thanks. Skip. No thanks. Don't use the show me cloud. Skip before full screen. Skip. Okay. Swipe up. Finish. After that, you will see the. Google app will redownload. You can uninstall it back. Redownloading the Google component. Okay, about on the device. Still Poco X3. Same. Okay, this is the Poco Launcher. If you look at the uh, IDA 64, IDA 64. Over here, you see it as POCO NFC inside the IDA 64 system and I9 and uh, refresh rate. Right?
90 hertz okay how to download the uh, Fortnite go to your browser it's still ah can't stop this one. Hmm. wait a minute let me do the setting here auto update don't auto update okay in your browser just type Fortnite. F O R T N I T E. Fortnite. Go to the Epic website, Epic Game. EpicGame.com. Don't go to other site, only here. And Android. First, download the Epic. App. Yeah, get the Epic Game apps and download immediately, and then after that you install it. Okay. Allow. Install. Done. Exit the browser. Go to your Epic Game app There is two games inside here One Battle Breakers and Fortnite Just download the Fortnite Launcher Install <coughs> And the Fortnite size the game size are 9.1 GB. Bear in mind, that's a big, big size. Smilan Koma Satu Gigabyte. Okay. Install. That's it. 60 APS unlock. How about 90 APS? The 90 APS is not there, but uh, the game APS are uncapped. I hope so. Okay. The Fortnite launcher. Put it right here. Run your Fortnite. Continue. Okay, find my icon, log in into your account, if you don't have one, create one, or you can choose your Facebook, Twitter, whatever, Verify, capture, and the game size nine point one GB. <laughs> Don't go away. Okay, I got it. While then loading. That's depend on your internet speed. How fast? Sometime 5 minutes, sometime 10 minutes, sometime 15 minutes, maybe 1 hour. 10% now so today it very fast okay
you don't need an adapter you don't need a tweezer you don't need a controller you don't need a pen to install the ROM all you need is your passion be patient and willing to learn from your mistake once you make mistake don't repeat it again you know the other day I bought a uh, Sandisk the micro SD this is a fake damn they sell it the same price as the original one this is a fake SD card almost like original but it's fake the original one are made in China this one is made in Taiwan I test it with the software and found out it's a fake waste of money 256 GB <laughs> cheater a lot of cheater nowadays be careful type C to type C to micro USB meanwhile you can test some game EGGNS while downloading not all the game are playable yet. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja. Nope. False. Close. finish <laughs> no way <laughs> very bad emulator and very bad controller see the band and one more thing your USB type C port will spoil sooner imagine someone poking at your butthole with an iron this is what happened to your phone the phone are hanging on the type C it's not hanging on the side wall. That's very bad design. Okay, we already finished download. Oh yeah, why I hope it? It restart the game. Do we get the 60 fps? Of course. Can it run at 90? I am not sure. Don't root the phone, please. If you root it, say goodbye to Fortnite. 
Oh, your account maybe get banned by the Fortnite. This is a stock modified ROM. Show me you. Setting six days. Don't use the epic. The phone will get hot. Get the uh, use the low setting. FPS apply. With this one game, what night Mars Mars sixty? Yes, over here. Maybe 60 plus FPS, 90, I'm not sure. From the thermal file are still there. If you want more performance, there is another ROM. The thermal file already did it, but be careful. The phone easily get off. This one, the thermal still controlling the speed of the ROM. The performance are control so that the CPU didn't get hot. I got two version of ROM. One with thermal and one without the thermal. You can choose which one you want. If you want more battery life, less performance, use the the one with the thermal. If you want more performance, use the one without thermal. The one without thermal, the phone will heat up. But the performance is better. Where am I? The refresh rate are 90 hertz, but the FPS, eh? What is this? Like? Yeah, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me, I want to live, woohoo, you miss, 
Yumi. Haha. Just the same Come on, brother. How many FPS? Cannot see, man. Thirty. Twenty-three only. Huh. This is with the thermal file. But the temperature of the CPU not so hot. You can tune the game to ball if you know how to get uh, at least 60. Now it's 40 plus 50 FPS. Okay, that's it. I will end my video. Very leggy with the thermal pile is still intact. Remove the thermal pile, your phone get hot. But if you know how to control it, that's up to you. For me, I used the without thermal one. Hey! 
I, 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 I got killed. Angry rabbit. It's angry. Okay, that's it. How to install the ROM? How to get a 60 FPS? I will unlock the two versions of the ROM, one with the thermal and one without the thermal file. It's up to you to choose. With the thermal, your pawn will stay colder. Without the thermal, it will heat up. And that's it. Once again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay at home.